In programming, there is a concept called short circuit evaluation, and this is not just JavaScript, it applies to some other programming languages. This is a concept where the compiler stops the evaluation of an expression halfway when the result of that expression is already determined. And this happens in logical expressions involving the logical operator AND or, or the knowledge coalescing operator. If you'd love to learn more about these operators, I have videos on them, I'll leave links in the video description. And these are called logical operators, or you can also call them short circuit operators and what happens when you use these operators in an expression is that the compiler evaluates the expression from left to right and once it achieves the result of the expression and it verifies that the remaining conditions in that expression would not affect the result then it will skip the remaining conditions it will short circuit to stop the evaluation and it will return the results immediately and don't worry if this doesn't make sense we're going to look at examples let's say I want to use the AND operator then I have this code which I just pasted here I have written return false and what return false does is console log and false and then return false and then we have return true and when this function is called we have console log i am true and we have return true now let's say we have a result variable and in this result variable we're going to use the and operator the first expression will pass before the and operator is calling the return false then we have the and operator and then we have return true then here we're going to console log result is and then i have result here and what the and operator does is that it would only return true if the expressions passed to it are true. So that means this AND operator would only return true to results if return false returns true and return true returns true. Now let's run this in the console and see what happens. So here we see I am false because this function is executed and here we have console log I am false but we don't have I am true in the console which means console log I am true coming from here. What that means is that the AND operator evaluated this expression but it did not evaluate this expression. And why is that the case? Because when you're using the logical AND operator, it verifies that all expressions pass to it return true. But because this one returns false, the AND operator already knows that even if this other function returns true or even if it returns false, it doesn't matter. For the fact that this one already returns false, then it knows that this whole expression evaluates to false. This is short circuiting. The AND operator short circuits, the evaluation is stopped halfway because the AND operator can already conclude that this whole expression evaluates to false. That's why we have console log I am false executed for this, but then it never gets to this part because this one is already false. Now let's say we turn it around and let's say we have return true as the first expression and then here we have return false. What would happen here? If I run this, you see we have I am true, which means return true was executed, console log I am true, and we also have I am false. Return false was executed and we have console log I am false. What happens here? Well, as we're using the AND operator, return true returns true. So for the fact that it returns true, the AND operator cannot yet conclude that this whole expression would evaluate to true. That's because this second expression can return true or it can return false. And in the case that this second expression return false, that means the end result is going to be false. So in such areas like this, short cycle does not happen. The evaluation is not stopped halfway because the AND operator cannot yet conclude after this first expression what the result of the whole expression is going to be. And that's why it also has to execute this expression before it finally knows that, okay, the final result is false, which it passed to the result variable. And let's also see a short circuiting behavior with the logical OR operator. I'm going to copy this here and then here I have the OR operator and then I'm going to paste this code here. Now here I'm going to do or like this. I'm going to clear this console. If I run this, watch what happens. We have I am true, which means return true is executed, but return false is not executed. Why is that the case? That's because the logical or operator returns true if at least one of the expressions is true. It doesn't matter if the rest are false or if the rest are true. Once it finds one expression that is true, it will return true. And this is where short circuiting happens. So return true, as you can see here, returns true. After console login I am true here as you can see and now the OR operator can already conclude that this whole expression is true because one of it is true but if I change this to false and then I change this to true and I run this now you can see something different happens return false is executed we have console log I am false which you can see here now because this returns false 
the logical or operator cannot yet conclude that this expression is going to evaluate to false because there may be a true somewhere. Let's say I also have another return false here like this and uh, let me extend this a little and i run this so what happens return false returns false the logical operator yet cannot conclude the result of this whole expression so it goes from left to right this is the next expression this also returns false the logical operator cannot yet conclude and then it comes here and this returns true so in this case here short circuiting does not happen because the logical or operator has to execute all the expressions in this expression to verify the result that is returned but if this second one was returned true and this last one was returned false if i come here and i run this again you see we have i am false which is coming from here and then we have i am true which is coming from here but this last expression is ignored why because from this point the logical or operator can conclude that the result of this expression is true it checks if at least one expression is true and that is all it needs to conclude the result of the entire expression here. So this is short circuiting. After this point, the evaluation of this whole expression stops. That is why this one is ignored and we do not get an extra I am false in the console. So you can see how short circuiting works in JavaScript. It stops the evaluation halfway once the result is already achieved. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is not just JavaScript. You can also see it in other programming languages. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, and also subscribe for more concepts I'll be simplifying in JavaScript.